back to our so long. I am so excited to have you here. We are going to be joining the front to the back, which is so exciting. You'll get to see your garment start to really take shape in this video. So, we will join one side using a French seam, and it does not matter which side you pick, but we're going to join the front of our garment to the back of the garment using one side seam. Now, I'm only using one side, joining one side seam because I'm going to be putting a lace hem on this garment. If you're not doing a lace hem, then you may be able to join both sides right now, but just keep watching and you'll see what I mean by the end of the video, um, what your options are and how you can proceed. So I'm just doing one, one side seam using a French seam, and um, then I'm also joining both shoulder seams using French seams, and I'm attaching lace edging to the neckline. So I'm leaving about one inch or so extra overhang like on each of those back openings, and I, that's how I will finish the raw edges, and you'll see that in a later video. But um, just leave about an inch or so on each side of that uh, neckline. And I am just putting the lace right sides together with the fabric. So both the right side of the lace will be together with the right side of the fabric. I don't know if I said that clearly enough. But, you know, right sides together. Gosh, I need more coffee. Um, <laughs> anyhow, so, and then I just zigzag, you know, around and it wraps everything up. Like we've talked in previous videos on this so long everything up into a nice neat little roll. Now alternatively if you don't want to do that you could take a two inch wide bias band you know, you know a band cut on the bias two inch wide folder in half lengthwise with the right side of that fabric facing out and then you will attach it it's basically this it is the exact it's not basically it is the exact same thing as the bishop if you've done a bishop it's the same thing if you haven't done it go out, watch my, my bishop videos and you'll see what I mean with this with this route but um, you will put so you'll iron it lengthwise and then you'll put all the raw edges together so around that neckline if you have to trim it up trim it up a little bit um, after you sew that seam and then you will fold um, the bias band over so the folded edge will be meeting your machine stitches and then I like to hand sew the folded edges down using those machine stitches that way my stitches don't go to the right side of my garment a little nice trick, isn't that a nice trick? So, um, then you could, oh, you could gather your lace, if you decide to go the lace route around the neckline, you could gather, I didn't gather mine, but you could do it if you wanted more like of a gathery look, <laughs> you could definitely do that. My adjectives are just great, aren't they? Um, and a two, like two X, they are fairly gentle gathers, two and a half or more like or more kind of regular gathers, and then three X is really you gotta gather neckline around that around that child. So do what you want because it is sewing. So do whatever preference you know how I feel about that. Um, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with this. We've got what three more videos and it's done. So stay tuned for those. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I. Appreciate y'all for watching and hope to finish y'all in the next one.